Welcome to the show. I'm Kathy Ireland. Joining us today is Stoka CEO, Jacob Prague. Welcome, Jacob. Thank you. Well, we're thrilled you're here. And Jacob, before we dive in, can you give us a, a quick overview of what Stoka is and what you do? We would really like to become the company that parents seek for products and advice when they are starting to raise a family. The company started the journey that very much defines what the company is today. Really started focusing on how do we create the best products for children and the parents that are starting a family. Well, your quality is impeccable and it's so important for a company's longevity to have clearly defined values and goals. Could you go a little more into depth about Stoka's vision and how you have stayed focused on your goals? We want to uh, promote confident kids for a better world. And what we mean by that is that we hope that we can help parents set the children off to the best possible start in life. We all know that it's so important for children to get the best development going from the very moment they get born. And this is really what is, this is all about for us. And then of course, when we talk about a better world, it's because that these children are the ones that have to create this society in the future. So we think if we can be just a small part of helping them get on that right path, then we've come a long way as a company. We have to make sure that we're the trusted brand that they can go to, they can feel safe about it, and making sure that we are constantly challenging ourselves to develop new ways in which we can help parents make sure that they, they are connecting with their children. So we have essentially three things that we always want to deliver to the consumers. One is about child development and making sure that child development becomes an integrated part about how we think about our products, our values, and what we represent. And the second thing is about sustainability. I mean, you can take a new family that's starting their life as parents and a small, with a small baby. They're very focused today on making sure that sustainability and protecting the world and the environment is an integral part of also being a consumer and of being a family. So, so those things go hand in hand for us as well. And you could say coming out as a furniture company from Norway, we have always been working closely with nature. You know, this is a company that started out harvesting the, the woods that were just outside the door in, 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 at that time. So, so being part of nature has always been, you could say, been a real integral part of the company. And then finally, design. I mean, I think it's, it's obvious that design is important to Stalker. And when you look at some of the products that are surrounding us, you will also see this. And, and that design tradition is something we hold, you could say, very dear to our heart. So, so those are some of the values that we hope that not only kind of goes through the organization with the people, but also is transcended into the products that we're offering in the market. And for many of our viewers out there, the idea that furniture can really have an impact on things like child development and family bonds. Can you elaborate on that and bring understanding? The the important notion here is that we have to recognize that the development of a child and giving them the best possible start in life is something that happens in the very early weeks of their life. The first months are critical, the first years are critical. So we talk a lot about early childhood development in ways where basically defining the phases in which children have connections either to siblings or to the parents or to the caregivers. And we develop products that are allowing the parents to have as much connection with the child as possible. Child development, it's obviously not solved only with baby products, but baby products can contribute to that positive development in that sense. It is quite well established within research that the early years of life has a tremendous impact on everything that comes later. The foundations of language development is established all our higher cognitive functions. For example, our ability to interpret social cues, motor development starts there, our ability to form close relationships, and very much our ability to regulate our emotions. All that is established in the first year of life. So just interact with your child is actually highly stimulating uh, for your child. From the very first months of life, uh, where just providing the child with your face is actually one of the most stimulating things you can do, seeking eye contact with your child. The TripFab chair is by far our most important product. It was designed in the early 70s by a Norwegian designer. Here he is, Peter Upsweek. 
who was thinking about how does how do we make sure that children actually have the right place to sit so they can actually connect with the adults that are around them. I think what Peter discovered was that either you had a high chair where people were, or children were sitting down on the floor almost, or you were sitting at a very high one. But what about the time when you grow up and the regular chair at the dining table doesn't really fit you anymore? Then you're kind of stuck in between. So as the child is growing, the chair will continue to fit the child and therefore making sure that they always sit at the right height. And that has then developed this like an ecosystem of the same chair when you can start all the way as a newborn. And when the child later can sit up, they sit with a baby seat so they're protected from falling down. And then later you simply adjust the seat and the footrest to allow the children to sit at the right posture and making sure ergonomically it is the right chair for children. So we like to think of this as the chair that grows with the child. How would you say that Stoka is really keeping up and evolving? Our customers are telling us that they fundamentally believe in the fact that we want what is best for their children. Yeah. And, and I think that that's the part that gives us, you could say, the confidence to continue that journey that has been going on for so many years right now, but also believe that some of the values that we represent seems to be resonating with people wherever they are in the world. Yeah. Well, Jacob, wonderful having this conversation. Thank you for joining us. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you for watching. I'm Kathy Ireland.